Welcome everyone who's new. Welcome back everyone who is returning. My name is Jacqueline. I am the Holistic Siren and on my channel I help you guys heal physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Okay, um, they're embracing your most authentic self. I am a Reiki master, tarot reader, psychic medium, integrative nutritionist, and authenticity mentor. Okay, so I help you guys embrace your most authentic self, embrace your gifts. I am also a practicing witch. I'm getting very used to saying that now. So if anyone is trying to embrace their inner manifester um, or their inner magic, whatever you want to say, you're in the right place. Okay, but please make sure that you tap into your heart space, tap into that heart chakra. Make sure that my energy is in alignment with yours. Comment alignment if you feel my energy and the sacred space is in alignment with yours, okay? Feeling like you're meant to be here, all right? That is very important, whether it's me or any other psychic medium, reader, please always, always check in with your heart space. And if it's not, that's okay. It's never personal, only spiritual. But I will say I am the bee's knees, so you may want to stick around. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Where's my selenite? This is a collective reading. Yes. Okay. So for anyone who did not hear me, all right, this is the collective reading for the full moon in Aries. We are officially in full moon energy. We work with full moon energy three days before and three days after. Okay. So the full moon, full or new moon. All right. So we've got today, tomorrow, the next day to be in full moon energy and then three days after. So the full moon is actually on the ninth, which is a Sunday. Okay, so, um, and it's in Aries, guys. Aries, um, shout out to all my fellow Aries. I'm an Aries sun, moon, and Sag rising. Let me know what your sun, moon, and rising sign signs are in the comments. If you're not an Aries, it's still going to affect you, okay? Especially if you are, um, especially if you're a fixed, uh, if you're a fixed sign, a fixed sign or an earth sign, because y'all do not adapt well, and y'all do not like change. Um, but anyway, this full moon in Aries are, is surrounding themes around getting rid of habits that just do not serve you habits that knock your motivation. Um, also, uh, releasing people, places, things that are not conducive to your new beginnings. Um, one, one, one in the live for confirmation, right? Aries is the first sign of the Zodiac. It signifies the beginning of the astrological new year. Okay. Um, Aries is also a cardinal sign, which means self starter. Okay. Forward moving. So anything, anyone, any relationships or energies, jobs, whatever that is holding you back from moving forward with your plans, that have only to do with yourself because Aries does represent the self. All right. Um, got to kick him to the curb. It's time to go. All right. So let me know in the comments, what are you guys releasing on this new moon? Because remember new moons are about release. What are you releasing? Also look back to six months ago, uh, when we had the new moon in Aries, those manifestations should be coming around. Okay. Um, but I'm going to see, I'm going to look at the dates for you guys really quick. Um, New moon Aries 2022. That was April, was it? April 1st, April Fool's Day. Ha <laughs> that's funny. Um, what's interesting is, so look back to April 1st. What were you guys trying to manifest? What intentions did you set on the new moon in Aries? Um, what's really interesting is the new moon was exact at 2.24 a.m. Eastern Standard. What does that mean? 2 plus 2 is 4, 4, 4, 4 plus 4 is 8, okay? Number synchronicity. So 2, 2, I'm, I'm seeing 2, 2, 2, 4, 4, 4, 1, 1, 1, maybe 8, 8, 8 could be angel numbers for you guys at this time. Releasing people are energy vampires, anything negative, awesome, okay. So comment, uh, comment ready if you guys are ready for the full moon in Aries collective reading. Comment ready. I am huge on interaction, guys, so let me know. I feel like I need to put my hair up for this one. I'm bringing scrunchies back, you guys. I'm a child of the 80s. I am a child of the 80s. Look at my cropped sweatshirt and my big ass scrunchie. All 
A lot of you guys have asked me how to do this bun and it's it surprises me sometimes because I'm like, oh, it's so basic. All right, let's, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm just like messing with my hair at this point. <laughs> I'm just fucking around um, at this point. Anyway, um, yes, scrunchies are so nice. Plus they don't leave um, a dent in your hair. I hate that. Uh, but I just washed my hair this morning, so it's like all over the place. It's not, whatever. At least it's clean. <laughs> At least it's clean. Um, but anyway. Okay, Celeste, no problem, my love. Um, yeah, um, so Celeste pointed out something really nice, or Celestial Spirit Tarot. Um, please go check her, her page out, by the way, guys. She's a really great reader. Um, if anyone would like a... Um, a, re a paid reading after I do the collective. Uh, the energy exchange is $33. You can pay through Cash App or PayPal. The link is in my TikTok bio. A lot of you guys like to ask me throughout the collective reading if I'm doing that. So I'm gonna start announcing it beforehand. Um, I'm only gonna take like maybe five to seven people. So if you really want a reading, I suggest you sign up now and take care of it because once I get those five or seven spots filled, I'm done, closing it out, okay? But here we go. So we're going to see, number one, what's manifesting for us on this full moon? Because like I said, full moons about manifestations coming in. Okay, so again, put this in your journal. Write this down in your note app on your phone. I'm telling you guys, my readings are the time to take notes, okay? Because um, shit usually goes down. Anyway, um, look to April 1st, 2022, three days before, three days after. What were your intentions on that new moon in Aries, okay? Those manifestations should be coming through now. All right. Um, especially if you started any projects, any new jobs, new relationships, there, there are definitely like some themes there. But all right, here we go. Uh, God, source, universe, divine, creative all things only for our highest and best and through your divine love and light. What's manifesting for us on this full moon in Aries? Mm. You guys should feel more energized too. Full moons in Aries. Um, your motivation usually kicks up. On the, the shadow side of Aries, though, is um, a quick temper, so um, an insecurity. So just make sure, like, be aware, like, if you have any insecurities popping up that need to be released, that will probably come up. Um, you're definitely closing out cycles that um, you were shown to close out six months ago on the new moon. So what cycles have you been closing out or trying to close out over the last six months, especially around relationships, because we're in Libra season. Okay, the sun is in Libra. The moon will be in Aries. High Priestess. Ooh, ooh, I love that for us. For manifesting, y'all, your, your spiritual, your psychic gifts. Oh my gosh, I feel like you guys are manifesting what they are, knowing what they are, and knowing how to use them. Um, it oh, Also, I feel like intuitively you guys have felt a manifestation coming like in your bones, okay? So I feel like whatever manifestations you're feeling are coming with this full moon, I feel like they're a coming. So let me know, what is your intuition telling you that's manifesting for you on this full moon? Judgment, the final decision. Okay, final decision on something that intuitively you have been feeling, but maybe has not been apparent to you or clear to you in your physical reality. Okay. And the tower. Okay. I just heard change of direction. And then we have the... Um, the king of wands here. All right. So bottom of the deck, we have, a, oh, I forgot to say this. Guys, we do have a 50K like goal every morning. So please tap, tap, tap the screen to like the live. It also helps me work with the algorithm. Full disclosure, I have to work with it. But also if you are feeling my vibe, if you would like to support me or you're just liking this message, um, the reading, please hit that little arrow button on the bottom to share the live. Again, it just helps my channel grow, helps other people see or get the message also. Okay. I appreciate it so much. Anyway, um, bottom of the deck, we have the King of Wands. All right. So Aries, Leo, Sag energy. Um, what I'll say is look where Aries look where Aries and Libra fall in your chart, what houses they fall in, okay, on your natal chart, okay? Um, where Libra falls in your chart is where things should be balancing out in, in this season and with this full moon. With the full moon, um, you're going to, in Aries, wherever Aries falls in your natal chart, sorry, I'm thinking and listening to your guides at the same time. Oh, 
<laughs> um, wherever Aries falls in your chart, whatever house, uh, those are the themes around what you need to release and then what is going to be manifesting for you. What's going to be replaced with better. Okay. Thank you for all the likes guys. I love you. Thank you so much. Okay. But the King of Wands, what we're manifesting confidence, dude, a lot of mother fucking confidence. Okay. Power empowerment. Um, I'm hearing courage as well. Confidence and courage to do the right thing for you. I also feel like you guys may be manifesting, um, a leadership role, like maybe a promotion at work, maybe um, a, being a leader in your industry or in your business, maybe um, having resources to hire people to help you in your business or something like that. Okay. Um, but what I love about the King of Wands is that the vision, the, the vision of the King of Wands life has already manifested. Okay. Ooh, we have the nine of pentacles underneath. This could have something to do with your finances that make you feel more empowered. Um, or having, uh, having the resources to invest in your future, to work with others, to help build your future. Okay. If that makes sense. Um, I feel like this could also be a person coming to close out a chapter or cycle. Could be an Aries Leo Sag. I feel like this person would be a coward um, or very has a lot of uh, cowardly characteristics. But King of Wands, I feel like they might be stepping into their courage a little bit to tell you something to close out a cycle. This would be something that you wouldn't be, this would be something very unexpected out of this person. Um, like they usually aren't like that. Maybe they've been silent for a long time. Um, but that's just something. Um, also, I feel like this decision, this final judgment, um, it's unexpected and it has something, something to do with leadership. Um, uh, okay. So for some of you, and this is a very specific message, so bear with me, only take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Okay, guys, I feel like a lot of you are going to like explode on social media. Um, if you've been working on it, okay. Explode on social media, getting a lot more followers, um, just, uh, your, your content just doing really, really well, but also gaining a really, a genuine following people who you genuinely help. Um, I I'm also hearing, I feel like you guys have been, um, I feel like, uh, I, I get this sense like you guys are getting into like public speaking or something or like um, being unafraid to share your story, to inspire others, to lead by example. Um, also, I feel like you're going to have the confidence to make a really difficult decision that you've been sitting on. Oh, my God. My ear is ringing so loud, you guys. So judgment could be like a final judgment. It could be a divorce, a breakup, leaving a job like you are. You are taking the lead of your life and you're making a final decision that intuitively, you know, you have to make. Um, this could be like very much weighing pros and cons. OK, like maybe you wrote a pros and cons list. I see some of you guys like writing that down and then you have the tower. So whatever you guys are deciding, making a final judgment call on, it's something that had shaky foundations. OK, or this is like, ah, like I'm done. I'm making the decision. It's like maybe you've been sitting on it for a long time and you're like, no, I'm doing it. OK, so it's an opportunity to make a judgment call on ending something that had shaky foundations. OK, um. Okay. Um, I also feel like if anyone's a light worker, um, in, in a healing practice or wanting to start a healing business, a light working business, wanting to help others, I kind of feel like there's some sort of unexpected opportunity here or unexpected growth in business. Okay. Because we have the queen of pentacles here too, as well. All right. Um, but this is manifesting because a lot of you have been working on self-worth intuitively. Like, you know, that, the more you value yourself, the more abundance you attract, right? The more people you attract that value you, okay? Queen of Pentacles, um, you're manifesting balance in your finances, your career, your home life, okay? You have time for everything. Um, yeah, it's like some of you are like, I want to manifest more time. 
I want to manifest more time. But you have plenty of time, beloved. It's almost like um, you're manifesting an energy of being present, okay? Being present. Um, but also people like seeing your worth. Like if people have been undervaluing you, um, I'm hearing underdog. If you felt like the underdog, you know how the underdog always has their day? That's what I'm kind of feeling. Um, seven of wands. Okay, so we've got, ooh, okay, and then five of cups. King of Cups. All right. Another king here. So what are we manifesting? Maybe a king of cups that was doing some shady shit. Okay. <laughs> that was doing some shady shit. Um, could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces or someone that just cloaks their emotions. It doesn't have to be that. All right. Um, but King of Cups. I feel like, again, I feel like there's a person coming through and this is so unexpected because here you are, it's like you manifested a conversation that you, that you wanted or you felt like you needed to have a conversation to like close out a cycle of grieving, like grieving something or someone. All right. But Queen of Pentacles, um, here you are sitting on your throne, all happy. You're hugging your pentacle. You're straight chilling in your garden. You're loving life. And then all of a sudden, bam, seven of wands. You have so much success, so much balance and peace. And then seven of wands, some asshole comes up and surprises you. And you're like, fuck, boundaries. Don't cross my boundaries. Okay, five of cups. Um, this is someone approaching you because the pain, the heartache is just too much for them to handle. Like they can't cloak their emotions anymore. They can't hide how they feel. Justice. Yeah, you guys are closing out some sort of karmic cycle. It could be with a Libra or we are in Libra season. Truth will prevail is what I'm hearing. So I feel like you guys are manifesting truth and clarity. I just see you guys like praying or um, asking your higher power like every night or every morning, like, please give me clarity in all things, or please give me clarity about the cycles that need to end. How can I let go of this person, this job, the old, how can I let go? All right. And I feel like this is like the letting go process is never one moment, but I feel like there have been little moment. There have been little there's been little progressions of you guys letting go of this person or situation, but then there's like the final, I'm done. The final conversation, the final, I'm over it. You get what I'm saying? Such a fucking process. 100%. You guys, I've been grieving, leaving my ex fiance in December of 2021 for 10 fucking months. He cheated on me for over a year, which is why I left. I packed up my shit. I moved out of our house. I bought a new house. I started a whole new life in a completely different place for any, let me know guys. Um, if you're, let me know if you're new and you didn't know that aspect of my story. Um, and if you guys would like to know more about that journey that I went through that I'm still going on because I, I call it story time. So comment story time. If you guys want to hear more about my personal life and my relationship history, um, because I feel like it helps you, re uh, resonate with me more. Yeah, everyone's like story time. And apologies to my um, my returning members um, or followers because you guys have heard this story already, but I like to help the collective, whoever's new. So for everyone who has not heard this story, um, by the way, my name is Jacqueline. Hello, everyone. Um, please give me a follow, by the way, if I resonate with your energy. But anyway, here's my quick story time, okay? So here we go. Um, December 2021, I decided to leave my fiance at the time we were together for four years engaged for two um and for the entirety of 2021 I felt like there was something wrong I felt like he was cheating on me I felt like he was lying behind my back there's just really weird behaviors like weird body language you guys I swear to god I dove so deep into studying body language I can read someone like a fucking book now like you if and I can read energy too but if you have some whack whack ass body language, I'm going to see it. And I'm gonna be like, you're fucking lying to me. I, I went nuts, you guys, seriously. Um, but anyway, there were just a lot of, um, 
a lot of signs that things were going wrong. And then I found his journal. He journaled about like all these crazy things, including like cheating on me and stuff like that. And I was like, I'm done. I'm done. I literally, I packed up my shit and I left in like two days. Um, and guys, that journey was ridiculous. Okay. I stayed with two different friends. Um, I didn't have like a home base until for three months for three fucking, no wait, December, January, February. No. Yeah. For like three and a half months, I did not have a home base. I was staying with friends. I stay with my parents. My mom and I have a really shitty relationship because she's a narcissist. Hmm. Um, and I'm an empath. We all know how that goes. Anyway. So I ended up renting an Airbnb for a month to just have my own space. I dropped so much money. I invested in my peace, even though I was scared shitless about spending all that money and spirit took care of me. I bought my house I'm in now. I have all new friends. I mean, I still have some old friends, which is great. Um, but I live an hour away from where I used to live and I have a new boyfriend now who I've been with for six months. I'm so in love with him. He's amazing. He's a Taurus. Um, I was, I was engaged to a Sag. So, pfft, okay. No offense, Saggies. I'm a Sag rising. We love freedom. Very non-committal. So yeah. Anyway, but I have come so far. Yes. Thank you for saying that. But I just want to share that with you guys, because a lot of you are going through now what I went through then, what I went through then. And I'm telling you, I promise you, you can, and you will get through it. Like, let me know in the comments. I will get through this. I will get through this. I will get through this because you will. You have the strength. You have the tenacity. Okay. You came here to experience these lessons. Okay. You got this. All right. And listen, I'm still grieving, guys. I still cry about it sometimes. It's okay. Grieving takes a while. I beat myself up sometimes. I'm like, oh, fuck, it's 10 months and I'm still not over this asshole. Like, are you for real? But you know what? It's my fucking process. Don't judge your emotions. Just flow with them and you'll be fine. I promise you, you guys, I am so happy now. I am so happy. So I promise you happiness is on the other side of the release. I, I swear. Okay. But anyway, just let's get back into it. What are we manifesting? Justice. Yes. Truth, clarity, good karma, nine of swords and five of wands. The end to fear and anxiety and inner conflict about your decisions. OK, whatever you've been conflicted about, whatever you have been like really scared about that's been keeping you up at night, that's balancing out, guys. So what areas of life are balancing out for you? What are you manifesting here? What types of balance? Because that that's done. All right. Um, I also feel like some of you are like manifesting the why, like clarity on why this shit is happening to for you. OK, it's never happening to you. It's always happening for you. It's like, oh, I get it. I totally get it. Why the universe put me through all this conflict? Because it, it made me stronger. It built my resiliency. And guys, friendly, um, I just want to remind you guys, when you get into a new relationship after you have left a traumatic relationship, like when I left my narcissistic ex-fiance, because he is a fucking narcissist, um, it's, he's always the victim. Everything always happens to him. Um, sorry. It frustrates me to no end. Uh, the next relationship, when you enter in a friendly, when you enter a healthy relationship, sometimes it, it, not sometimes it can trigger you a lot because you don't believe that that person is good. My, my now boyfriend Oh my God, he has had to deal with so much of my shit, um, insecurity wise and my trust issues because I was so traumatized from that experience, right? From like the person who told me he would never cheat on me. He would never do this. He would never do that. He loved me, blah, 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 blah. Okay. My, my now boyfriend is like, I'll never leave you. I love you so much. I'm here for you. Blah, blah, blah. In the beginning, guys, the first couple months, I was like, bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. You're a liar, 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 liar. And then I would like check in with the energy and it was conflicting. Like my higher self was like, no, you can trust him. And then my ego, my traumatized self was like, uh, no, escape. Like get out of here. 
Thank God I stayed because he's amazing. So I just want to tell you guys that like be gentle with yourself, be patient and compassionate with yourself once you do enter a new relationship, if that's where you are in your life, because you went through a very traumatic experience, but give the person a shot. If they don't give you red flags, don't, don't project your ex's red flags onto the new person. Okay. Um, this is the same thing with friends, friends, new coworkers, family members, new people coming into your life. It doesn't have to be romantic. Okay. Um, but just watch that you're not projecting red flags from old people, past people onto the new people who actually are trying to show you love. People will do love you. People do want to help you. That is a real thing. I swear. And I know it sounds crazy for me to say that, but after I left my, my ex, I was like, I might, I might cry about this because it does get me very, a little emotional. Um, I, I didn't think I could trust anybody. Like I was so in love with that person, like so in love with that person. And I trusted him implicitly. I thought he would, he was like my protector, like my stability. And he was the exact opposite of that. He violated me in so many different ways. Um, but you know what? Like, I'm still healing from that. And you can too. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh my God, cry girl. You're so pretty. He's so stupid. I love you guys. I really love you. Um. Oh, Tabitha, when you do talk about what happened to the new person, like, I don't want to scare him away. Yeah, so you guys... Um. Let me know if you guys want to hear about this. Comment yes or no. Um, do you guys want to know um, whether or not I share things I experience, like my grieving process with my new boyfriend? Do you guys want to know that or hear me talk about that? I feel like you guys are here for it. Okay, so here we go. In the past whether it was my ex fiance or exes in the past, I would always prioritize their feelings. So I would not talk about things that I thought would make them uncomfortable. Okay. Or it really would make anyone uncomfortable to be honest. However, I was not prioritizing me. Okay. With my boyfriend now, <laughs> Number one, on our first date, we talked about religion, politics, kids. We talked about all like the taboo shit. Um, the second time we hung out, I told him about my spiritual gifts, my mediumship, whatever. Okay, I was fully transparent. Now, when it comes to talking about my ex and my grieving process, the first two months, I wouldn't share anything with him. But the problem with that was there were things we would do together that would remind me of my ex or things I did with my ex and I would cry or I would get upset or my mood would change. And then my new boyfriend, his name is Joe, by the way, Joe would be like, are you okay? Like what's going on? He would have no idea what's going on. He had no context because I wasn't being open with him, right? Flashbacks like, whoa. Okay. The fall especially is difficult for me guys because my ex, our, our anniversary was in September. We got engaged in October of 2019, and then we were supposed to get married in November. So September, October, November, I'm in the thick of it, you guys. Believe me, it's whoa. Um, but after like two months, I was like, fuck this. I connect with my spirit guides. I was like, all right, spirit guides, what do I do? Like, do I tell him that I'm grieving or talk about my ex fiance with Joe? Like, what if it makes him uncomfortable? And my guides were like, so what? That's his problem, not yours. Why are you con why are you concerned with his emotions and his reactions when you have a need to share something? It's not your fucking job to worry about his emotions or his reactions. It's your job to worry about your healing and what you need to do, what you need to take care of, your emotional healing. Okay. Um, so now I share pretty much everything with Joe. Um, if I'm grieving, if I'm having a bad day, if I'm thinking about my ex, if I'm having a flashback, um, because sometimes I'll have, um, I'll have anxiety attacks, um, when things remind me of my ex 
and um, I need him to know what's going on. So I do share with him everything. And I told him, I'm like, listen, if you can't handle this, if this bothers you, number one, be honest with me and tell me it bothers you. And number two, you need to be honest and tell me if you can handle it because I've been traumatized tremendously for years of my life and I'm working through it and I want to be in a relationship with you because I love you and I see this working out but you also need to be I need you to be patient with me because I'm going through some shit I'm grieving something very traumatic um, because I was abused and violated in so many ways so he understands that and he has been extremely patient with me. He's very reassuring. He tells me like he loves me so much. He tells me every day he is like, I'm never leaving. You can trust me. And he and his actions reflect what he says. That's the biggest thing, guys. As long as the person's actions reflect what they say, you're golden. OK, but let me know if you found that helpful. Comment helpful um, if you guys like me sharing that stuff with you because I feel like it, you do. I clearly don't want to like talk about things that you guys do not find helpful. But. but the last thing I, I the last thing I want for you guys is to like close up and not express the hard moments. It's it's part of being vulnerable. It's hard. It's part of being vulnerable. If you're, if you cannot be vulnerable with your partner, leave, leave. If you, if your partner puts you down for being vulnerable, you got to go. You got to go. There need like divine masculines. A lot of them are being faced with their divine feminine side. And there's some of them are stepping into their divine feminine. Okay. Joe awesome is stepping to his divine feminine. He is fantastic at it. Um, but anyway, uh, <laughs> Sorry, I pulled another row of cards and I went off on a tangent, but here we go. So what are we manifesting on this full moon? Okay. How long was I single before I got into my new relationship? I was single. I mean, sorry. Whoa, why did I do that? Um, I was single for four months. I was single for four months. The timing, let me just say this. I knew, I was very much emotionally done with my relationship, my ex fiance like I would say for about two years I was pretty much done um so I had been emotionally detaching for over a year so yes I was single for four months but emotionally I was disconnected for a long time guys I don't feel like I rushed because the universe put Joe in my path the universe. Okay. So anyone who doesn't know, and guys, please keep tapping the screen to like the live. We have a 50 K like goal and we're so close to reaching our goal. Um, you guys, I thought I rushed at first, but how I met Joe is this. I went into a dog park. I found a dog park by my new house, my new house. And I met him there on some haphazard day. I went there on a day. I usually didn't go. And I met him there. We started talking for like two hours so you guys know my dog's name is Thor. Joe's dog's name is Loki. Thor and Loki. Are you kidding me? And then um, he ended up moving into my town only like a few months before I moved here. Like he's not from where I live. Um, and he actually ended a relationship with a narcissistic feminine. So yeah, it was so crazy. It was so crazy. So I can't say I rushed because the universe literally like plopped him in my life. Like I, there's just no way I could talk myself out of it. Yeah, my intuition did not want me to marry my ex because, because he's a narcissist and a fucking liar. hundred <laughs> percent. Um, that would have ended in divorce real fucking quick. Anyway, but what are we manifesting? <laughs> Let's get back to this reading. Um, the devil... The Queen of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune, Fate, Good Fortune coming in. Um, Let's see. So we have Capricorn energy. We also have Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius. But it, you don't have to be any of those signs. Um, I feel like you guys are manifesting a healthier body. Does that make sense? 
you're, you're manifesting more confidence in yourself, but it's also reflecting in your body. You're, um, I feel like you guys are, are working on new healthy habits. Maybe you're eating differently. Maybe you're doing smoothies or juicing. Maybe you're exercising differently. Like you're, you're manifesting more confidence, but it's reflecting outwardly. Like to me, this would be like people complimenting you. You know what I mean? Like, oh my gosh, your skin looks so great. Oh my gosh, you look so great. You have like a light about you. You're glowing. I feel like you're getting more of that. But you guys are moving your body differently. Like maybe you're uh, you're having opportunity to explore different things. Again, I feel like there's resources coming in so you guys can have adventures. Ooh, ooh, that hits. I got chills. Who here is manifesting more resources, money, time, whatever, to have more adventures? There's something about that. Adventures. Could be to travel too. Could be to travel to Wheel of Fortune. All right. Um, what do we manifest here? What do we manifest? Full disclosure, guys, the reading is not over. I'm going to do what we need to release and then guidance for the full moon. So we got we got two more spreads to get through. How exciting. Um... By the way, guys, full disclosure, please tap the screen and like the live. We're so close to our 50K like goal. Um, but also, I always like to check in. Are you guys having fun? Are you having fun? Tell me in the comments. Comment fun. Ooh, did I not say you're manifesting more time? Look at this. Times arrow. Times arrow. Guys, comment confirm if I said you're manifesting more time. I swear to God, I said that. Let's see. I'm pretty smart. Oh, thank you. Yeah, for anyone who um, is manifesting a healthier body, healthier habits, more confidence, whatever, um, just so you're aware, um, in case you're new, my um my authenticity and spiritual uh, gift mentorship sessions include nutrition guidance, okay? Um, and the reason being is, guys, I have my master's in nutrition and dietetics and education. I actually started my career as an integrative nutritionist, and I have my graduate degree in nutrition and dietetics. So if you guys are wanting to understand how the health of the body ties into um, you advancing or growing spiritually and how it affects your energy let me know if you're looking for like to work with someone who can help you heal your body while also helping heal emotionally um let me know I need that. They are totally linked 100%. How can I do it? Okay. Um, let me just make sure I, I updated a lot of things on my website and my link tree yesterday. So, okay. Um, so for ever, for anyone who's interested in booking a session with me, um, for the authenticity and spiritual gift mentorship, which does include nutrition and how nutrition affects your spiritual gifts and your most authentic self. Okay. Um, you're going to go to the link in my TikTok bio. It's the link right below my, um, profile picture. And the link says book your authenticity and spiritual gift mentorship session. Okay. Um, Full disclosure, guys, I have very limited space for new for new clients. So if you're really serious about it, I suggest you go do it now. All right. Anyway, um, times arrow, times arrow. Now, this deck is based on a book. Um, it's based on Rave, the book Raven's Wand by... Um, Steve Hutton. My birthday is April 14th. Um, so the, the cards read like a story. So bear with me. Okay. Rebecca Parsley helps the dragon toad in his quest to know the future. She presents a crystal ball waiting for something to appear or perhaps it won't. 
The future is a murky land, but one thing is certain, time can magnify or diminish. Do things seem futile because time destroys all eventually, or precisely because of this, everything we do has significance? Time diminishes pain as it heals, which I was just talking about, just as it magnifies by urging us to spend every moment well. Magnify or diminish, both can better our lives, and time can be your servant, not enemy. That's pretty cool. All right. But who is ready for the next row? What we need to, what we're being called to release on the full moon? Let me know in the comments, guys. Comment ready. Comment ready. What do we need to release? And guys, um, if you haven't already, please, please hit that arrow button and share the live. Um, I really appreciate it. It helps me work with the algorithm. There's, um, I'm so happy so many readers are stepping into, so many new readers are coming on, stepping into their gifts and their power. But there are so many readers on the platform now. What the hell? Crap. Guys, I, I fucked up my deck a little bit. Hold on. I messed up my deck a little bit. The cards are all mixed up. Right side up, upside down. There you go. Oh my gosh, thank you guys for sharing the live. You're awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. It really does help. I know any of my fellow readers know like, oh my gosh, I mix up the cards upside down, right side up. Crazy. All right, but let's see. God search universe, divine creator of all things. Only for our highest and best and through your divine love and light. What are we being called to release on this full moon? You guys are probably going to notice my energy is going to be way up because the full moon is in Aries, which is my sun and moon sign. What do we need to release? Impatience. Okay. Um, Ace of Swords. Clarity on your timing. Okay, who here has been like, oh my God, just make things clear to me. Just make things freaking clear to me. I just want to know what, what, what do I need to know about this? What do I need to know about that? What's my life purpose? Blah, 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 blah. I want all the answers like yesterday. Okay, so what do you need to release? Impatience. Okay, you need to embrace the I don't know. <laughs> okay, because look here, you're like, oh my fucking God, universe, why can't you just tell me? Tell me now. Just tell me now. I don't want to wait because the Knight of Pentacles is slow as fuck. Oh my God. Temperance. Again, the card of balance, moderation, and patience. Okay. This is a, this is a soul lesson for y'all big time. Okay. Um, the clarity is coming in. All right. Because full moons always disclose, always show what is hidden. Okay. But I feel like what you need to release is you're not meant to know all the steps for you to take action moving forward. Okay. Some of you are like, I don't know what's going to happen, so I'm not going to do it. I don't know what the result is going to be by me starting this project, me putting energy into this person, this relationship, energy into myself, my spirituality. I don't know what the outcome is, so I'm not going to invest in it. I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to wait for more clarity, more signs, blah, 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 blah. No. Okay. Y'all need to release that shit. All right. Uh, yes. Look, um, Look at where your, oh, hey, Gretchen. Um, yes, look what house Aries falls in. Yeah, because you guys are on the right path. It's just, you're not paying attention to the signs. The spirit is like, get going, get moving, start working on this. Seven of Wands, um, releasing defensiveness. Um, some of you guys, um, I'm kind of feeling some of you take things very personally sometimes, or you kind of, you make things about you a lot um, or you take blame for things that are not your fault. And then you go and like feel like you have to defend yourself or over explain. I'm getting a lot of over explanation, which comes from a place of, of trauma, of low self-worth. 
Um, um, also, you guys need to release lack of faith. That That's big time too. As the Eight of Cups comes out. Why am I guys attacking me? Yeah, Eight of Cups. Um, yeah, uh, it's time to release like any residual emotion you have. Um, there's no need to defend. Um, oh, okay. Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles again. So let me try. Um, this is like a very specific message. So let me just like articulate it in my head for a second. It's almost like some of you guys repeat your story at nauseum. Like you talk about how you've had to defend yourself. You talk about what this person did. Okay. I feel like it's enough, enough fixating on what they did. It's time to move on and focus on where you can grow next. Does that make sense to you guys? Let me know in the comments. Okay. It's like, does that make sense? You don't need to defend what you did, how you overcame it, so on and so forth. Like you already know, 11-11 as I say that, 11-11 confirmation, you guys are really truly ready to move on, but only you can let yourself do that. So try to catch yourself when you're talking, and I just did it, full disclosure, I just did it here. I was like, ah, my ex is a narcissist, he's an asshole, blah, 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 blah. Like I was doing that. I was the seven of wands, right? I was defending my experience. Now it's time to like move on from it. I'm also hearing um, some of you want to use, like some of you want to take your experience and help others. Like maybe you want to write a book, a blog, start a social media page about it. Um, maybe you want to start a podcast, a YouTube channel, something like that. You want to use your experience for the betterment of other people. So you help people. I just got chills. So you help people in the same situation, right? Because there are going to be people who go through a very similar circumstance. But you can't understand the lesson fully if you keep looking back. They did this, they did that, blah, 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 blah. Strength, okay, releasing fear. Um, making the hard choice. Uh, ooh, okay. Um, some of you, uh, you need to release, again. It, it's not over, it is over explaining, but it's also um, overreaction. It's almost like, um, Have the strength to be silent. You get what I'm saying? You say so much more through silence. Like just because someone approaches you, because we got the seven of wands earlier, right? Um, like surprise, like here I am. You don't need to talk to this person. <laughs> silence is louder than words sometimes. You get what I'm saying? So it's like have the strength to say it's done. Like there's nothing, there's nothing else for me to say. But whatever difficult to sit, oh, also have the strength, uh, sorry, um, releasing people pleasing. That's a lot of you releasing people pleasing. Um, uh, also, uh, saying no. Okay. Stop saying yes to everything. Like stop giving release, um, giving people access to your energy all the time. Okay. Like, not everyone deserves access to your energy. Your energy is sacred, all okay? right? It's a fine one. That's what I just heard. I don't know why I said that. Anyway, Page of Swords. Yeah, there we go, communication. Um, So let's get, and then Three of Pentacles. And then page of pentacles. Okay, we have two pages. Pages are messengers, or it could be children as well. Um. Okay, this is for my moms who out here who are, or parents, parents, doesn't be moms. Um, any parent uh, where you left, an, uh, you're thinking about, or you have left a toxic relationship, maybe with a person you have children with, just because they come back around and they said they want to work on it, don't do it for the kids. 
It never works out, guys. It never works out when you do it just for the kids, but you know in your heart that it's just not meant to be for you, okay? A lot of parents that I've worked with, um, and I've noticed this in the collective, you guys prioritize your children. And listen, no judgment, but that's ass backwards to me. You have to prioritize your emotional well-being first because if you're emotionally fucked up, you're going to fuck up your kid's emotional well-being. You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? I ha Don't take that as judgmental, please. It's literally coming from a place of love. But just because someone says they want to work on it with you, they want to make things better, you don't have to take the offer. You do not have to take the offer. Um... Also, some of you releasing the fear of starting over, fear of being the student. Um, it's like some of you want to start something like maybe it's a business um, or you just want to go back to school, get certified in something, or you just want to learn about something you're genuinely interested in, or you want to work with someone to build a skill set. Maybe like heal solar plexus wounds, heal inner child wounds, um, heal past life wounds or something like that please invest in yourself um what I would say as far as releasing is release the fear of investing in yourself spending money on yourself that's for some of you because y'all some of you are hesitating a lot on that but you know that it'll benefit you in the end some of you are way too focused on money the hierophant Um, the Hierophant. Yeah, this is. Yeah, it's for some of you, 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 I think you're ready to release a marriage. That's for some of you. Um, or at least it's either a marriage. Three of Wands. Um, ooh, the Empress. Okay. Um, releasing lack of self-love. Uh, so uh, releasing self-hatred, self-doubt. Um, lack mindset. If it's not a marriage, um, and again, there's a lot of people in here, so I'm trying to hit all the marks, guys. Um, okay. What I just heard is um, releasing playing it small. Release playing it small. Release self-diminishment. Release diminishing yourself, making yourself look smaller, like hiding who you, aspects of who you are. Because I feel like a lot of you guys have big personalities. You have really unique characteristics. Like, here I am, world. Like, you're a motherfucking empress. Whether you're male or female gender, I don't care. It doesn't matter. Gender doesn't matter, okay? Um, stop playing it small. Like, there's no reason to diminish yourself. I feel like the person you were with or people you surrounded yourself with made you feel this big, okay? Maybe they didn't celebrate your wins. Maybe they didn't value you. Maybe they made you feel um, insignificant to control you, okay? This person no longer, release the control this person had over you because you're the one who gave it to them in the first place, beloved, you're the one who gave it, gave the control to them in the first place. Only you can give your power away. So reclaim your power. Um, others, it's release fear of taking a risk on yourself. This is a really interesting, um, a really interesting read on this. And this, this kind of relates to the cards, but like, I'm just going to tell you guys. Injuries that were endured in past lives, like emotional injury. I feel like this, this release of this person relationship karmic cycle, whatever it is. It's difficult because you've been through this before, but in a past life. That's why it's so hard. So I would suggest working with someone, guys, like a Reiki practitioner who can help you heal past life wounds. Um, I feel like that would help a lot. 
Yeah, I feel like this is a past life connection. Um, also, some of you are afraid to travel somewhere that you feel very called to go to. Um, it could be like Renaissance era, I'm kind of feeling, or maybe like I'm seeing castles or like churches or some sort of like very significant to your soul places. Has anyone felt the need to travel to a, a place that feels significant to your soul? It doesn't have to be a church or a castle or whatever. It's just significant to the soul. Um, that's also part of like releasing playing it small. Um, and if anyone needed inspiration and motivation to do that, I'm going to Scotland in a week and a half. I have a past life connection there. Um, in a past life, I was Mary Queen of Scots, supposedly. Um, and I am going to Scotland for over a week and I'm very excited. So, and listen guys, I have, I, I am healing lack mindset, scarcity mindset. I worry about money sometimes, but I, I did it anyway, you guys. And guess what? I've had no money issues since. All right. I'm fine. I've been provided for. I've actually been making more money. Abundance has been flowing to me more easily since I've decided to go on this trip. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. Like when you don't let fear dictate your decision-making, abundance flows to you because you're telling the universe, you know what? I trust you. I trust you universe. I know I'm going to get what I need. Do it guys. I'm telling you, it's so worth it. I told myself every year last year was the first time I went on a spiritual pilgrimage. All right. I drove from New Jersey all the way to Sedona, Arizona and the Grand Canyon and back by myself. I drove there alone. I was gone for three weeks. Um, and let me tell you that legit was a spiritual pilgrimage. I learned so much about myself. It was amazing. I suggest like if you can travel alone and you feel comfortable, do it, dude. It's such a transformative experience. Um, and you guys, we hit 50 K. Oh my God. Let's go for 70. We got this tap, tap, tap guys. Tap the screen and like the live. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. But anyway, um, Anyway, comment ready, guys. Who's ready for the guidance for this full moon from your spirit, from our spirit guides? Comment ready. Comment ready. I just heard cup runneth over as well. My cup runneth over. I would like love to plan a trip somewhere and just have you guys meet me there. I would love that. That's a goal. A retreat of some sort. Would you guys come on a retreat with me? Is that something you would invest in? Because you could meet me face to face. I do record my lives, yes. Yes, so many of you. I've been so called to do a retreat for so long. I want to do one so badly. Everyone get their passport. Yeah, I think it would be domestic at first, though, because traveling internationally, I feel like I should be experienced first. Anyway, here we go. Um, guidance. Guidance for this full moon in Aries. All right, so here we go. What is the guidance for us for our highest and best only? God's first universe. Did something? Ooh. I, you know what, guys? It's so fun. I did it again. Look, I... I not that I didn't fuck up anything. Clearly that was meant to happen. Because this is what I'm doing. I see like cards are flipped. I got to. You know what's funny? Um, I did a TikTok reading the other day. And a card flipped. And I didn't notice it until the third video. So like six minutes in. And I was like. What the hell? See if there's any more in there. Because the card wasn't. I wasn't meant to put the card down until that that moment. Oh, you're from Scotland. Oh, that's so cool. I'm going to Edinburgh. Um, I'm staying for a week and I'm doing tours. Like I'm doing paid tours and then I'm going to explore like the Royal Mile. I'm going to clearly tour the um, Edinburgh Castle, stuff like that. But um, I'm doing tours because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing over there, guys. <laughs> Any recommendations for anyone who's been to Scotland? Let me know.
Okay. Oh, there's the moon. Glasgow. I mean, I can go to both. Yes, I'm going by myself. Anyway, the moon. All right, so we have full moon energy here, okay? So I feel like with this, what's hidden is coming to light. What's hidden is coming to light. Um, and it's something that you manifested. It's also 10 of swords, nine of swords. I don't usually read this in reverse, but I feel like this full moon is this came out reverse guys. So something, whatever area in your life where you were like, this is never going to end and something that has been, um, Something that has been like on your mind, causing a lot of fear, a lot of anxiety, maybe sleep disturbance as well. Um, maybe nightmares. I feel like some of you are experiencing nightmares. Um, everything you've been through, this tough cycle that is closing out this full moon, it's part of, it's a resource. The strength, the lessons, it's all a resource for you to manifest what you want. This is something to do with your creativity here. What are you guys wanting to create with the lessons you've learned over the last, with, I would say like six months first, but I would say the last like year or so is what I'm hearing. Why am I hitting every point? Because I'm psychic as hell. Because <laughs> I mean, because I'm talking to your guides, like. It's just how this works. Um, anyway. Anyway, um, nine of cups. Wish fulfillment. Your prayers are being answered, guys. Your prayers are being answered. Um, I feel like the guidance, you're going to be emotionally fulfilled on a personal level. Oh, I know it was rhetorical. I was just being funny. I'm, I can be a little sarcastic sometimes, but it's all part of my charm, right? And then Ace of Cups, guys, I'm hearing blessing in disguise, blessing in disguise. Um, so it's almost like this difficult cycle, especially the, the difficult cycle in relationships, your past lives, whatever this Ten of Swords is, whatever this habitual hurt or pain has been, it's like that's part of your creation, like it's actually a wish fulfillment. It's a blessing because you're going to turn it into something. Uh, Ace of Wands. The moon again. And it came out in the reverse, but I don't read reversals in this card. Yeah, guys, it's like there's a lot of clarity and illumination coming in with regard to your life purpose, your life path, what truly fulfills you. Does that make sense? Who here has been like, what the fuck is my life purpose? How am I supposed to use my gifts toward my life purpose? How am I meant to um, step into my higher calling or something like that? That's what I'm hearing. How am I supposed to step into my higher calling? What is it? What is it supposed to be? Okay, that is coming through. Um Knight of Pentacles, because what you guys don't realize is you have been laying the groundwork already because you've been doing your healing. Wow. Um, full disclosure, guys, I have a life purpose reading that's pre-recorded if anyone is interested. Um, the pre-recorded readings are much more in-depth because it's for you personally, but it's also recorded, so you get to keep it. Justice. Yeah. Karma coming in. I, guys, whatever you're going through right now, whenever I see the Ten of Swords with justice, it is very much past life. It's very karmic. Um, doesn't have to mean a karmic relationship. It could just mean karmic cycles that you had karma you had to serve karma you had to pay back. But I feel like you guys have just been through the fucking ringer and now karma is done. Like you've paid back your karmic debt. There it is. You've paid back your karmic debt. Um, justice, uh, I feel like too, if you guys are going through any legal situation, I feel like you're going to get the outcome that, that you want. I feel like it, it's, it's even better than what you want, to be honest. That's for some of you. Five of swords. Yeah, this could have been a really messy divorce. It could have been a messy legal situation, a messy contractual situation. Anything to do with contracts could be real estate. 
Um, anything legal. I feel like it could have been messy. But again, the Five of Swords, again. You're also, you walking away is going to pay off. That's kind of what I'm hearing. Um, you walking away, you making the difficult decision. Um, you no longer interacting with someone who comes from ego, okay? You walking away from a narcissist. And it could be, it doesn't, it could, my mom's a narcissist. Like, I do not really converse with her because she's toxic, okay? Um, but... Yeah, it's like balance is coming back in because you're no longer entertaining narcissism or toxic people. The star, yeah. And then the nine of wands. Um, Rest. Okay, some of you guys are feeling really burnt out. Uh, what I'm kind of feeling is, guys, too, acknowledge your accomplishments. Acknowledge how much of yourself you have put into your healing journey. The nine of wands is a card of accomplishment actually, but it's also a card of giving yourself a break, dude. You need a break. Um, this The full moon energy is heavy. There are a lot of upgrades going on um, within the physical body and within our DNA, okay? So with that, we have a lot of spiritual upgrades, third eye upgrades, a lot of physical body upgrades. Like maybe your appetite is changing. Maybe your taste in food is changing. Maybe the your meal frequency or what you're eating is changing. Maybe all of the above. But there's a lot of things happening, a growing, healing happening emotionally and physically because you guys are coming into alignment because you cleared out karmic debt. I feel like you guys have a lot of fear around this situation and please apply it to your life, whatever this situation is. Um, I feel like there's some fear around it happening again. Not going to happen again. It's not going to happen again. It's so it's safe to trust is what I'm hearing. It's safe to trust. You truly have ended the cycle this time. Yeah. Page of cups. Um, I, I'm hearing custody battle. So some of you, um, I feel like if there's a custody battle going on, um, that's been very difficult. I feel like it's it's going to work out the way you hoped is what I'm hearing. So don't worry about it. The energy of worry will um, affect the outcome. Okay. So to release worry and fear. Everything's going to be fine. Knight of Wands. Some of you also like if you've been thinking about plan, um, going on a trip with a child or going back to a going on vacation to a place you went to as a child. Um, also, guys, whatever this creative idea is, or uh, another message is whatever. And guys, please keep tapping the screen to like the live. We've got a 70K like goal. Let's do it. Whatever this creative idea is, you've had it for a while, I feel. Um, or whatever creative idea comes through with this full moon, because remember, clarity is coming in. Please take a leap of faith. Please take action on it. Be confident that it will be successful. Just make sure I'm not screwing up my cards again. I'm also here and give this new person a shot. Um, Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. Um, some of you guys, I feel like you're going to meet someone that you're going to build a family with. Um, or the, the new person you're with is who you can start a family with. Um, for others, if this is, has to do with a career um, or a business you have, I really feel like this is a light working business, a business where you use your spiritual gifts, your psychic abilities, your healing abilities, or just helping people. Guys, not only are you going to be able, are you going to feel fulfilled? I feel like this job or this creative idea, this business could have travel opportunity. Um it's going to be very emotionally fulfilling, but it's going to, it's going to set you up for life. Um, 10 of pentacles financially, um, set your family up, just comfort, not having to worry. Yeah. I, take what resonates guys. Leave what doesn't. I've got a lot of people in here. Um, 
see where it goes is what I'm saying. Give yourself a chance. You miss every shot you don't take. All right, so now I'm going to use my Seasons of the Witch Oracle, okay? Very witchy, very Halloween-y. Um, if that's you, Stephanie, for the PayPal donation, I did receive it, yes. Thank you. Yeah, Halloween is my jam. Okay. So we have pumpkin on the bottom, which is perfect, and then third harvest. So let me grab my book. This is to close out the reading. Have you guys enjoyed the reading? Let me know in the comments. Um, so we'll do the bottom first. Pumpkin. Oh, yeah, I passed it. All stiff. Okay. So the themes of pumpkin are protection, fertility, and prosperity. Love it. Okay. The pumpkin is more than a scare tool for the witch. However, it is a symbol of protection, fertility, and abundance. The pumpkin represents the power of the womb, so sacral chakra. So it's no surprise that its color corresponds with the color of the sacral chakra. And its size is a symbol of prosperity and having enough to go around. You have pulled pumpkin today because you are protected and safe from harm. There is a presence around you keeping the scary things away from your front door. You can rest easy knowing that your back is guarded. This card can also mean taking some steps to keep negative people out of your life. Did I not say boundaries, you guys? You may need to reduce the amount of time you spend in some relationships or set firm boundaries. Did I not say this? Oh my God. Doing so will allow you to put your energy where it is needed most, which is back to yourself. Okay. Now, third harvest. Third harvest. Notice how we have harvest and then we have pumpkin, which is prosperity and fertility. Harvest, I'm telling you. Abundance, you guys. Oh, wait, there it is. You guys, oh my God. So keywords, gathering, abundance, and preparation. The third harvest was a time in the past to gather up the remainder of crops to prepare and store them to have enough food to last the harsh conditions. So notice how the pumpkin said, you, the pumpkin, there's more enough to go around and share and then having enough food to last hard conditions. So guys, you're going to have more than enough, more than enough. The last of the wheat would ground to flour. The remains of fruits and vegetables would be pickled and canned and meat salted. Everything with a shelf life was stored in underground cellars and packed with ice. Though winters might be harsh and gathering up your food is hard work, there is a feeling of abundance and pride in getting prepared. Imagine looking at your food stores and seeing a physical representation of your work. Imagine seeing the abundant rewards of planting your seeds and nourishing them as they grow. Are you guys picking up what this oracle is putting down? We are lucky that we no longer have to face these conditions in the modern world. Refrigerators and grocery stores make it easy for us to have food all year long. Perhaps that is why the overall idea of preparation is no longer important to us. If you are holding the third harvest card, you are being guided to gather up your accomplishments to celebrate your wins. Oh my God, did I not say that, you guys? Please tell me in the comments. I verbatim said that. I verbatim said that. Oh my God, holy shit. Take a look at everything you've done and achieved. Make a store of these wins to come back to whenever you are feeling low or like you failed. The easiest way to attract more abundance is to feel abundant. Having the stockpile of feel good moments will kickstart you and help you turn those feelings of lack or stagnation. Mic drop. <laughs> oh my gosh, wow. 
I am telling you that. Whoa. So that was the full moon reading, you guys. Um, let me know what resonated the most for you in the comments. That was such a strong reading. Wow. Um, but anyway, but anyway, um, a lot of you guys are clearing out karma, but also like doing a lot of past life work. So 